You're always concerned about your heart health by checking cholesterol levels, but you do not get tested to check whether you are keeping your kidneys healthy. Most people do not know they have kidney disease because symptoms are typically not not noticeable at early stages. The first step to prevent kidney disease like heart disease is to monitor your blood pressure and keep it within normal range. Over time, uncontrolled high blood pressure can cause arteries around the kidneys to narrow, weaken or harden. These damaged arteries cannot deliver enough blood to the kidney tissues. Damaged kidney arteries don't filter blood well. Kidneys have tiny finger-like nephrons that filter your blood. Uncontrolled high blood pressure is the second leading cause of kidney failure in the US. Severe high blood pressure can harm kidney functions over a relatively short period. Even mild forms of high blood pressure can damage kidneys over several years. If you are a diabetic, or having a history in the family, it is advisable to check your fasting blood sugar level. If the fasting level is high, you must see your family doctor immediately. How do high sugar levels in the blood affect your kidneys? Each kidney is made up of millions of tiny filters called nephrons. Over time, high blood sugar from diabetes can damage blood vessels in the kidneys as well as nephrons so they don't work as well as they should. Many people with diabetes also develop high blood pressure which can damage the kidneys too. The expected fasting blood glucose concentration values are between 70 mg per dill or 3.9 millimoles per liter and 100 mg per dill or 5.6 millimoles per liter. When fasting blood glucose is between 100 to 125 mg per dill liter or 5.6 to 6.9 millimoles per liter, changes in lifestyle and monitoring glycemia are recommended. Staying hydrated is crucial for maintaining healthy kidneys and water is the best food for them. The kidneys depend on an adequate water supply to remove waste products such as sodium, urea and toxins from the body and maintain the right balance of electrolytes. Failing to drink enough water can put extra pressure on the kidneys leading to potential problems in the future. It's about the amount of water consumed and it's a quality, so choosing clean and purified sources is crucial. The recommended daily water intake can vary depending on factors like age, activity level and climate. But aiming for 8 to 10 glasses of water daily can help support kidney health. Diet is the next essential item to maintain healthy kidneys. What can I eat or drink to improve kidney functions? A plant-based diet is good for the overall health of all organs including kidneys. Veggies like cauliflower, onions, eggplants and turnips are excellent kidney foods. Other foods cleanse kidneys including apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is effective in preventing oxidative stress in the kidneys. 
Other foods are kidney beans, lemon juice, watermelon, pomegranate and basil, cauliflower, onions, eggplants and turnips. Papo is an excellent fruit for the kidneys. The potassium present in the fruit is a huge supporter to uh, support of kidney health. It cleans out the toxins deposited in the kidneys and reduces the accumulation of uric acid in the blood. Papo contains an enzyme called papain that is known to aid digestion. According to the National Kidney Foundation, fruits that may benefit kidney health include pomegranates, avocados, strawberries, blueberries, cherries, apples, citrus fruits, purples, etc. When you have diabetic kidneys, your kidneys can't remove extra phosphorus from your blood very well. Too much phosphorus accumulation in your blood can weaken bones and damage your blood vessels, eyes and heart. Meat, dairy, dairy products, beans, nuts, whole grain bread and dark colored sodas are high in phosphorus. Phosphorus is also added to lots of packaged foods. So far we have discussed how to keep your kidneys healthy. Now let's discuss how you can reverse kidney disease. Is diabetic kidney disease treatable? Diabetic nephropathy or kidney disease when diagnosed early, the first step in treating diabetic nephropathy is to treat and control diabetes and high blood pressure. Treatment includes diet, lifestyle changes, exercise and prescription medicines. Controlling blood sugar and blood pressure might prevent or delay kidney issues and other complications. When you have diabetic kidneys, if not controlled, you may have the following symptoms. High blood pressure gets more challenging to control. Swelling of feet, ankles, hands and or eyes, foamy urine, confusion or difficulty thinking, shortness of breath, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting and itching. The best tests to investigate the progress of kidney disease are a blood test known as the estimated glomerular filtration rate or EGFR and a urine test known as the urine albumin creatinine ratio. The standard way to estimate EGFR is with the simple blood test measuring creatinine levels. Creatinine is a waste product from the digestion of dietary protein and normal breakdown of muscle tissue. EGFR is 90 in young people. As you grow old, it drops to about 60. When you have chronic kidney disease, the EGFR drops below 60. In uncontrolled kidney, chronic kidney disease, the EGFR gradually can drop to 15 when dialysis may be required to remove urine from your blood. So this would be the best test to check for declining kidney health. There are eight ways to care for your kidneys. Get tested for kidneys, kidney disease. Many people don't know they have kidney disease because symptoms are typically not noticeable at early stages. Monitor blood pressure. Exercise regularly. Manage blood sugar. Eat a balanced diet. Stay well hydrated. Stop smoking, limit over-the-counter medication, medication use. Use of herbal supplements is often unsafe if you have kidney disease since some herbal products can cause harm to your kidneys and even make your kidney disease worse. Also, your kidneys cannot precise waste products that can build up in your body. The herbal supplement market is a multi-million dollar business. So be aware of this situation if you have chronic kidney disease. So viewers, 
I hope this video article on kidney health will benefit you until we meet again. Stay safe and bye for now.